I think Hackensack Meridian Children's Health offers the only real comprehensive sickle cell program in New Jersey. We do have curative therapies that we offer here that are bone marrow transplant um, as well as gene therapy. Gene therapy was introduced in the last 10 years for patients who don't have HLA match donors. We take their own bone marrow cells out and we actually change their sickle cell, then they don't have the side effects of sickle cell anymore. And we've been doing it for more than five years. We are the only hospital in the state that has been doing it for both children and adults successfully. We're the oldest and largest program in New Jersey. We've been doing uh, bone marrow transplants, particularly for sickle cell disease, since 2002 and have transplanted over about 60 patients just from pediatrics with sickle cell um, disease. We have a very comprehensive team that involves not only physicians, nurse practitioners, social workers, many different people that have been involved with this process for many years and can really help patients and their families navigate this difficult but obviously very rewarding process. We know within the first week of life who has sickle cell anemia. Those patients come here within the first two weeks. We take care of patients from birth until they get curative therapy. We are the only hospital in the state that has been doing it for both children and adults successfully. The average patient who has sickle cell, they basically have terrible pain, which brings them to the hospital and they have to take IV opioids or IV um, NSAIDs. And they're usually admitted for one to five days, anywhere from once to 12 times a year. So it's important to know about disease-modifying drugs and to know about the curative therapies that are available. And we have them available here at Hackensack Meridian Children's Health. You go from being admitted one to 12 times a year, taking pain medicine intermittently and taking other disease-modifying drugs for your chronic illness to not having a chronic illness anymore. I have one patient who now runs three miles a few days a week. I have another patient who loves going to the shore and sticking their feet in the water, which normally would cause a crisis. We are very excited as a group because in 2024, we have two curative therapies for sickle cell. No one needs to live with sickle cell anymore, or at least in the future. Um, we can cure this disease.